In this video, I want to compare and contrast the Wushtoff Gourmet Santoku knife to the Victorinox Vibrox Santoku knife. Both of these are entry level, they're both machine made, they're both stamped, and they're both European style Santoku knives, so they really have a couple of similarities. Both of these are machine made, stamped, European style Santoku knives, and they're both entry level lines, so they really have a couple of similarities, but they also have a couple of major differences. This Wushtoff Gourmet line is made with their proprietary steel, about a 58 hardness, while the Victorinox is made with their proprietary steel at about a 55 hardness. The cutting angles are very, very different though. The Wushtoff is a relatively dull 18 and a half degrees, while the Victorinox is a very, very sharp 15 degrees. And to put that in perspective, the Victorinox can be used to shave, while the Wushtoff cannot. They are both stamped, like I said, but they have a pretty interesting difference from the back of the blade down. The Victorinox, a lot of people are surprised to find out, does not have a full tang. Its tang ends about right here, while the Wushtoff has a full tang that goes all the way through the handle. In terms of practical use, however, I will say that as long as you aren't abusing this knife, it really doesn't end up being that big of a deal that it doesn't have a full tang and you shouldn't worry too much about it. The handle of the Wushtoff is a traditional German design. So it's ergonomic, but not the most ergonomic knife you're going to be using. While the handle of the Victorinox is actually extremely ergonomic, it is made out of Fibrox, which is a reinforced polymer, and it has this really nice non-slip finish on it. The handle of the Wushtoff is just a single piece of plastic. The plastic honestly feels sort of cheap, and I don't really have that much, uh, I guess, of a good feeling when I hold it. It just sort of feels like a cheap knife. Either way, they both come with lifetime warranties. It's personal preference, but I will say the Victorinox has better performance, it's made of better materials, and it is about half the price. So in my mind, it really reigns supreme over the Gourmet. I'll put a link down below to both. If you have any questions, any comments, or any concerns, as always, let me know. And otherwise, I will talk to you very, very soon.